guys, I'm Rita and I'm Digital Accountant. This is my review of Sage Accounting software. Sage has multiple solutions that will suit different sized businesses, starting from sole traders, small or medium sized businesses to large enterprises. I have shared a link in the description section below to my Sage tutorial where I'm presenting my bakery business. If you haven't seen it, check it out. So, I have shortlisted good points and some mm, not so good points about Sage Accounting software. Let's jump straight into my review. Good points about Sage Accounting software. Sage has recently refreshed their brand and Actually, now it has more modern take on their logo and their web page. The color of logo has not changed, so it has stayed the same, like bright green shade. However, the logo actually is now different from the ones that you have used to see it. Also, with this change, Sage have shared some positive experiences that members will be able to, able to take on. Check the blog post for more information. Customer support. Sage has developed multiple communication channels that you as a customer can use to reach out to the customer uh, support team. You can use a chat box on your Sage business account. You can use a chat box from Sage website. Also, you can fill in an online form providing details and information about your query, or you can actually give them a call. So there is four options for you to select to get in touch with Sage. Customer service team is very responsive. And for example, if you reach out to them within working hours through chat box, there is actually a real person behind chat box answering your query. So there is no chat bot who actually tries to find an answer to your question asked from frequently asked questions library. Now, that's how Sage customer support doesn't work. They're, they actually have a real person handling your query. Also, if you opt for actually sending out a query uh, free, uh, via filling in a query form, Technical support team will come back to you within a couple days with a, a solution or an answer. However, if your query is not the one that technical support can actually help with, for example, I had a billing issue, then they will give you information or details how you can reach out to correct department. So no answer will be left unanswered on Sage uh, accounting software if you go for it. Payroll. If you have a staff and you are wondering if you can do payroll on Sage, yes, you can. Payroll can be submitted or real-time information payroll can be submitted directly to HMRC from Sage. As well as doing that side, you can post a journal once your payment run is complete on your Sage Accounting. So Sage Payroll and Sage Accounting are kind of two separate tools, but it's so easy and simple for you to switch between your accounting environment where you have all invoices, uh, where you can issue your invoices to your customers, to bank reconciliations, etc to switch over to your Sage Payroll. All what you need to do is just to go and click on top section and select from drop-down uh, list the environment in which you wanna be. For example, if you wanna do a payroll, then you just need to, from drop-down box, select payroll and do all your reportings, what you would need to do for your weekly or monthly paid employees. It's simple and easy, and you do not need to use additional browser um, to actually log in separately in payroll environment or separately log in, in your accounting software environment. It's all linked. Auto entry. So if you have lots of receipts and lots of invoices and you are kind of fed up with 
that repetitive process of entering lots of invoices on Friday afternoon and you kind of fall asleep or feel that you will fall asleep at the end of last documents when they've been entered. Then I have great news what Sage Accounting software provides you to save a lot of time. And it is called auto entry. So you can take a picture, for example, of your receipt and upload as a pictures or as a PDF files if you receive, for example, supplier invoices on your Sage Accounting software and via auto entry system will read or scan this document and take information and pre-populate into fields where you would often manually enter details. All what you will need to do is just review and confirm the information is right, matching with your receipt or with your invoice and post on your system. But there is one but, it's not for free. Auto entry after free trial period will cost you £11 plus VAT if you choose the cheapest package. And also the package is based on a credit. So £11 plus VAT per month will give you 50 credits per month to use. And those credits are used by depending on which type of documents you would upload. For example, if you just upload a single line receipt, it will use one credit. So one document, one credit. If you have supplier invoices with multiple lines, for example, you have purchased uh, stock items, then that document will use up two credits from your 50 credits allowance per one document. But you, if you decide to use also this option to auto upload uh, files like bank statements or credit card statements it will cost you free credits per page so if you have five pages of bank statement or credit card statement to upload it will use up 15 credits also if you have 10 let's say invoices with multi lines that will use another 20 credits so it's it is already at 35 credits as a usage and then if you have more than 15 credits used by uploading more than 15 single line documents you will need to go to next paid package the most expensive package is 75 pounds per month and it has 500 credits available so it depends from your usage and for what purpose you might use. So if you have bank statement, statements uh, or credit card statements from multiple um, sources, for example, you have 10 employees with uh, different uh, expense, um, like using credit cards for their expenses and it might have multiple pages, then it might add up and you might need to go to more expensive package. So, now about considerations or points that you need to be aware of. Let's start with the first one, card details. Once you register on Sage, you need to provide these little friend details uh, and the bank card details on your Sage accounting software. While this might be not a big deal to majority of you, it might cause some headaches Honestly, headaches if you don't cancel um, subscription at the right time. In my personal opinion, this is inconvenient considering the majority of accounting softwares do not request you to provide bank or card details once you go on test and trial period. So if you actually decide to continue with particular accounting software, only after this test and trial period, they would ask you to provide your card or bank details so subscription, paid subscription, um, membership can continue. So, as I mentioned, I think so it's inconvenient, in my personal opinion, to provide bank or card details on your test and trial or free trial period. Here is my money back and that means that I will talk about pricing. 
I do think that Sage accounting software is on expensive side compared to similar accounting softwares available on the market and with the similar functions available accounting software. The cheapest package on Sage accounting uh, software or the cheapest package of accounting software is £12 plus VAT and you will be able to issue invoices, do automated bank reconciliations as well as submit your VAT as part of making tax digital uh, requirements. But it is only for one user. So if you will need two or more, or it's called multi-user access, as well as if you are part of a construction industry scheme, you will need to go for a second paid package, which is standard package, and it will cost you £26 plus VAT per month. You need to consider that auto entry function and payroll is additional paid like uh, features so they are not included in your packages on, uh, on Sage accounting. So if you opt for standard accounting package, which will cost £26 per month, because you want to also issue quotes and estimates, plus you take on auto entry with a bare minimum 50 credits available, that will cost you £11 plus VAT per month. And you have about I would say less than five employees, staff members, uh, to use on report your payroll. That will cost you seven pounds plus VAT per month. So total price per month will be with these packages will cost you 44 pounds plus VAT. It is great software, but as I mentioned, it is a little bit too pricey. Yeah. Free trials and cancellation process. Let's firstly talk about free trials and this is where it gets juicy. And free trials are kind of free, but they are not for free. And let me explain why. If you sign up for 30 days trial and after six days testing and trialing, you decide that actually this software will not suit your business needs because there's too many features and you actually need just basic function of, of accounting software. And you decide to cancel. So once you cancel, you need to give 30 days notice. So after six days giving 30 days notice, you actually are going outside your 30 days free trial period. So you will be surprised by an invoice covering six days of um, membership fee so it will be prorated and it's why i'm saying it's free but kind of not free because you will be still charged because you haven't cancelled your subscription immediately talking about cancellation process you cannot cancel your subscription from your managed account uh, section. You can actually increase or change your package so your price can increase but you cannot cancel it. No, 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 no. Only way how you can cancel, you can search by word cancellation in Sage web page in search box and there will be free options provided for you how you can reach out to customer service to give your notice, uh, or, yeah, notice of cancellation. You can start a chat with a representative directly. You can fill in an online form, in that case, providing details about your business and that you want to cancel. And third option is phone number is provided, so you can give a call directly and cancel. So you can choose from one of these three options. Um, I would suggest you to be smart, and if you sign up for 30 days trial, cancel it immediately so this will give you 30 days to test and trial accounting software for free and you will be not uh, charged at the end of uh, when you decide to cancel this subscription so if you are on three months uh, test uh, like a free trial cancel within the first 60 days to make sure that you don't get charged unless you have decided that sage accounting software is best fit for your business needs and that's what you want to use going forward. 
So as I said, be smart and cancel immediately if you are on 30 days trial, so you don't get charged. And if you decide to use Sage going forward, you can always resubscribe and start using the software. So about overall, about accounting software Sage, it has a user-friendly dashboard uh, that I cannot miss to tell you guys about. So alongside having a report where you can drill in more information, there is also a summary dashboard where you can look at your sales and purchases side. So you can see your top five uh, customers and the same top five for your suppliers and etc. It's very simple and easy to navigate and work on Sage environment. Alongside very user-friendly interface, there is one another thing what I have not mentioned yet, but I should mention in this digital-driven world and it's a mobile app. Sage has a, an amazing Sage accounting uh, mobile app that you can use on a go. So I hope that my Sage accounting software review uh, you have found useful. But if you have any questions or require any further advice, feel free to reach out to me. Also, I have left a link in the description section below to Sage Accounting software so you can test and trial this software by yourself. And if you haven't seen my complete Sage tutorial, uh, I will share a link to it as well. I'm taking role on as a bakery business owner to record transactions on Sage accounting software. And of course, starting from a setup until very end to review your reports. Thank you for watching guys, and I will see you next episode.